Hey everyone, welcome back to the Simple Ground Homestead. I'm here to show you something really cool and to ask you a question and to fill you in on kind of how things are doing over here. You haven't heard from us for a week or two. And I'm sure you're wondering what's up, right? Well, first of all, check out our road, okay? So, ta-da! See all that behind me? This is just a part of it, and I'm going to be walking up and down it a little bit so you can kind of see. Um, I'll put on the screen the before picture. I have a before picture of this area. Ta-da! All that grass. And now it's like this with all this gravel. So the gravel itself is just as cheap as I could have gotten it. <laughs> we have a local quarry and I did gravel that hasn't been separated. And this is what we have. Took 19 loads and it took so few because, well, it was 1,200 feet, I should tell you that. 19 loads for 1,200 feet. And it wasn't all that many loads because, well, um, it had a pretty good base of rock underneath. I had a local contractor come in and do it for me because, really, he had the equipment and he was really cheap. Just over 500 bucks to get him here on his dozer. All the dozer work was, you know, 500, I think it was 600 bucks. Anyways, he did all the dozer work, and then I paid for him to truck in all the, the rock, and then I paid for the rock. The rock was the most expensive part. And like I said, I went went relatively cheap. Oh, I need to get down here and get the grain buckets for our goats. We've put them in a new spot so they get to move out of their little their little confines at night and we have them in an electric fence at night now they can run around it during the day and they've got a bigger pasture to run around in at night huh oh that sun oh sun maybe if I do this <laughs> the sun's right in the wrong spot now you guys can't see anything do I have to walk backward so anyway enough with that um, this is what a raw video looks like huh yeah, it, I was saying about the road itself, we kind of went on the cheap side because really we had a fairly good road underneath and um, we were thinking if we just got enough gravel on to appease the county, over time we could push this gravel down and in and get some good fine rock, that, you know, uh, I don't even remember what size it needs to be on the top. Not these big chunks of rock here and there, but a good top coat, crushed rock coating, and just over time put it on top. Make ourselves a really good clean road. And it's looking good. Like Look at how they've, well, this spot's been pushed in, but they've cleared up the side, made those ditches really good and clean. It's gonna make the whole driving up and down our long lane a more pleasant experience, especially in the wet winter. I don't know if I've told you guys, but this winter was the wettest winter that the Pacific Northwest has had in a hundred years. I think it was 150 years. So we, we've been building our yurt in the wettest winter <laughs> that this place has ever seen. And it's known for how wet it is here, right? All of you that have seen all those rainy videos will be like, yeah, we knew it. And now, all of the rain has stopped for about a month. It's been nice and sunshiny and stuff like that. Makes it hard to collect rainwater. But I can deal with that. Here are the goats. Hey goats. Anyway, I'll set the buckets down there and uh, head over to the big question. 
So if I walk backward, the sun's in my eye, but you can see as long as the shadow doesn't go on it. There's all this dirt. We've been piling up all the dirt from digging a septic tank. And that video is on its way. I have a couple more videos on the way, like I promised in the last video. And I've been editing those um, today. And I just felt like they're not going to come to you soon enough. So I needed to give you an update. The house is coming along really quite well. The framing is pretty much done inside. And we're working on getting the permits. We have to do separate permits for electrical. And we're trying to get those all squared away. I haven't applied for them. Shouldn't take very long. But I'm trying to get it all squared away so I can apply. Um, this is kind of what the house looks like. Ta-da! And I need to come over here to get a good view of my question for you. I need some expertise and I'm wondering if you guys can help me out a bit. But I have a round house and I want to put gutters on it. Any good ideas? Uh, with, with what I have learned so far, there are companies out there that will make um, curved gutters radial gutters is what the search term is if you're looking for it and they're forty dollars a foot plus delivery I'm not quite sure that I'm into that it's pretty expensive anyway I've called a couple local gutter companies and they uh, they said that they'll come out and look at it to varying degrees of uh, confidence <laughs> you know they're they're saying they don't like doing roundhouses um, because it, it's a lot of seams they, they're just imagining doing a lot of seams um, I've also been thinking of heating up and bending large diameter PVC pipe cutting out a notch and um, trying to use that to catch the water as it comes out. I don't know if any of you have had any experience with that, but thinking about it. Anyway, those are all the avenues I've explored. What am I missing, right? That's my question. I don't know if you guys have any good ideas. Oh, one more. The other option is to do a gutter on the ground. Um, it would actually look more like a French drain, but I would think gutter in mind. Uh, so it, it would hit, you know, gravel or some sort of paving stone with gravel underneath and then a pipe inside, perforated pipe, that will allow the water to travel down the pipe and I could put it somewhere else, you know. <clears throat> I would like to be collecting the rainwater, so this one is kind of lower on my list. I mean, there's options out there I could make it work, but it's kind of at the bottom. Anyway, let me know what you think. I mean... What in the world should I do? Do you have any good ideas? <clears throat> also, here's promises, promises, right? I'm going to get these other videos to you as quickly as I can. I'd like to have them, at least one more video within seven days of this one. I need to tell you, we've been pushing ourselves really hard. And it is... Um, my number one priority to get this project done and I'm sorry that means you guys are lower on the list and that's why you've missed a, a, a week or two between my videos right <laughs> but thanks for being patient with me I'll get another video to you within seven days and there's some good content I have the deck video as soon as I have my inspections done on the septic system you'll get that video and there's another B video. My, my flow hive has exploded. And it's awesome. So that video will be coming. And are you suffering from my overexposure here? Sun! Oh, hey. Maybe my head can block out the sun. Ta-da! So hard. So hard to... <laughs> I'm not a videographer, can you tell?
anyway. Like you could tell that I've been focusing on building more than even my beard. I'm gonna trim that tonight. <laughs> thanks for putting up with me and thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground. If you're new to our channel, welcome. We've been getting a lot of new people lately. It's been exciting and I'm glad you're here. Don't forget to look around at the other videos if you haven't yet. There's a lot of good stuff out there. And, um, you know, tell me what you want to see next. As you can tell from this video, I'm swamped, but I'd like to get the ball rolling on what to do next. So keep it coming. Even though I'm stressed, just keep me headed in the direction you want me to go. And I better cut this video off. It's getting pretty long. So thanks for watching, and until next time, thanks for taking this journey with us on Simple Ground.